Hi, friends. I'm very happy that you have already uh, viewed my uh, four chapters of Fear Not Failures. Okay, let me read the chapter five, The Mightiness of Success. We begin this section with a very meaningful, though light-hearted quote. Success comes before work only in the dictionary. This quotation is intended to show that any success in life is the fruit of hard work. So a sensible man should first aim at a modest target. When that target is reached, he should plan wisely for a higher target. When the target is reached, he should plan wisely for a higher target. Good. One should have ambition in life, but that ambition should be commensurate with one's innate ability and competence. Failure or reputation follows success. Metaphorically speaking, success is like nectar. Tiny particles of sugary substances in plants which the bees collect and transform it into honey. As the proverb says, many a little make it trickle. Success acquired over the years in little bits gives satisfaction which is long lasting. Success acquired suddenly disappears also suddenly. The following statements made by the wise and the learner may serve as good guides. Success is the result of persistent efforts. Don't grow complacent with the first success that you get. Consider it an, as an incentive to further your glory. Learn to treat initial defeats as stepping stones to eventual success. Learn to put in more hard work, earnestness, and better planning. The surest way to earn fame or reputation is the competitive spirit, coupled with work ethics and relevant skills. Play an active part in all creative activities. Success is one field, need not necessarily lead to higher success in the same field. Ashoka's, for example, is a classic case. He was crowned the Mauryan Emperor in 269 BC. He continued the annexation policy of his forebears for nearly eight years. His victory in the Kalinga War of 261 BC was a magnificent success. This success entirely changed the career and life of Ashoka. Instead of pursuing the policy of further annexation of vulnerable states, he abandoned war altogether and became an adherent of Buddhism. He expanded the Buddhist empire by leaps and he expanded the Buddhist empire by leaps and bounds. In the opinion of a larger number of people, Ashoka's Kalinga success was a failure. The inhumanity of war made him humane. This story of Ashoka clearly illustrates that we are the architects of our future. What is required is wise planning and the necessary equipment. The goal of your life might have been masked. Try and unmask the objective. Then you can chalk something up. An English poet has said, full many a flower is born to blush unseen and waste its sweetness on the desert air. It is advisable, therefore, not to become such flowers. Be useful to yourself and to the society around you. Try to be successful in life, but don't be enamored by fame or glory. 
success and the satisfaction it gives are long lasting but glory or fame is short lived if you fail in your attempts don't be fool yourself by inventing a thousand lame excuses introspect yourself and find out where you have gone wrong and remember that success in any any endeavor demands real earnestness strong will and devotion with these accessories even if you fail initially don't lose heart because those accessories are bound to bring eventual success you may lose a battle but you will win the war how is it how do you find it this was a chapter 6 of fear not failures so get ready to watch in the next video the chapter 6 let success be our constant companion how do you find this chapter 5 how should i know you should comment i'm waiting for your comment do comment like subscribe and share this video okay bye bye